welcome to the Writer's Circle. We're Ali and Ryan, and today... We are here with Amy Tam and Stephen King. Thanks for having us. We're really happy to be here. It's an honor to be on the show. Today on the Writing Circle, we will be discussing different types of writing styles and um, purpose when writing. So, which leads me to my first question. Uh, Stephen King, can you tell me a little bit about your writing style? I find that I either write in two ways, either straight to the point, or I, kind of, I love building up tension and uh, everything around that. Take, for example, my book on writing. It's straight to the point, no crap, and it's just like, it tells you exactly what to do, what I think about writing. In contrast to my book on writing, where it's straight to the point, The Shining creates lots of tension and I use lots of build up over a long span of pages. Alright, thank you Stephen. What about you Amy? What is your personal writing style? So, in comparison to Stephen's writing, mine's more about myself, whereas his is more um, about entertainment. Interesting. What's your opinion on that? Uh, I, always, I always find with your writing, you always seem to be not complaining, but using your like using your past experience as an excuse for everything. Like, well, I, I, I find, I find, I find I, against. Do you see me? I'm a Chinese American. Like, I'm discriminating against all the time. So. And that's exactly the point. You use that as an excuse for it's everything. It's not an excuse. It's a fact. Excuse me. Thank you. But it's like uh, if you look deeper. Are you racist? Like, no, I'm not racist. Though. Yeah, you are. I'm not racist. That's racist. I'm not racist. racist. Uh, if you look, if you look deeper into like my stories, like you can see some personal like I don't know attachments to them. Like if you if you look into them, but it seems that if you didn't have the stories you do, you have, there wouldn't be any writing. There would be nothing to base it off. Thank you, Stephen. What about you? What is your purpose in writing? Um, my purpose of writing is mostly for my family and honestly just to come to terms with my past and share my stories with the world. Stephen, would you mind telling us about or why you like to write? What is your purpose in writing? I feel like unlike a lot of people, I was, I was gifted with this uh, craft of writing and I feel and I get great satisfaction from writing you know, um, successful stories and books and um, I feel as if I'm not going to give it up because I mean, it's a gift and that was given to me and um, I, I love writing. Wow, what's your response to that? Can I just say something? Okay. You know, I'd rather be a complainer than an egotistical asshole. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, I'm, I'm not going to hide the fact that I'm good at writing. I mean, everybody's good at something. You may as well just take advantage of that good thing. Like, I don't know, for example, take Olympic athletes. They absolutely love themselves. Be no, I love them. Love them so they're great at what they do. I'm good at what I do. You're good at what you do. But you hide behind your family past and everything. Okay, I'm just gonna get this straight. I'm gonna. Um, he actually told me one time that he was in it for the money. So. I mean, let, just for the money. Just saying. The thing so. is, the, the thing is, you boil any job down to basically why you do it. Obviously, you're gonna do it because the dream job is you gonna do it because you love it. But at the end of the day, if you don't make any money, it's, it's selfish of you to have a family and support your wife and children if you don't have any money to support them. Like, yes, you may be doing something you love, but if you can't support the people who rely on you, then what's the point of doing it? If you do something you, you love, then the money will follow. No, no, I don't think it works like that. If, if, if you, if you okay, do you, love, do you love writing? I love writing. It just so happened to be that I love writing and I've become successful enough of it so that so I can make some money. Let's say I, I love something else, but it didn't make any money and I, did, I couldn't support my family. Regardless of what I enjoy, I'd look at them and they're my priority. I'd take care of them. And that's it for uh, the author's rhombus. Uh, thank you, Amy and Stephen, for joining us this evening, and it's we'll see you next time. Uh, now to switch up. <laughs> is, this, is this recording? Yeah, this is recording. Okay. <laughs> Stephen, what's, why do you write? What, you know, what makes you want to watch? Uh, sit on edge. And then eventually, I think, yeah, he gets the point, he finishes. But unlike that book, it's lots and lots of time. Unlike that book, lots of time. Lots of <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks Amy. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> I can't deal with myself. Alright.
I'm so tired. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, and take my book, The Shining, for example. Lots of throughout the. Um, take my book, The Shining, for example. I use the tension to build up the climax, to create suspense, so it creates this horror book. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's it for. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're rambling, and that's what's making you mess up. You're gonna judge me because of how I'm drinking water? I don't like people drinking out of my. Just chill. Yeah, chill. Nah, I'm gonna spill it. I'm gonna do it over somewhere that doesn't require you to spill it. Wow, this is still recording. <laughs>